All right, hey guys. So this lesson is just a continuation of lesson 3.9, dividing fractions, except our learning goal will be a little bit different. So make sure you have your math binders, make sure you have your pencil and paper and all of that. Um, because for today's learning goal, you are going to just simply put, I will learn how to check my work because basically all we're going to do is learn a snazzy little method that we can use to check and make sure that we properly divided our fractions, that our quotient is correct. So, once again, a little bit of review. Our division problems have three parts. So, I'll write out a division problem. We have one half divided by one eighth, and it equals four. And so, just like we talked in our last video, the first number here, that's called the dividend. Whoops, that didn't quite fit on there. This next number, I'm going to add the D over here. Eh, it works. Alright, the one-eighth, the second number, is known as the divisor. And then the answer is the quotient. Okay, so going back to this one half, whoops, divided by one eighth equals, whoa, wait, hold on a second. Let's get rid of that because we are not ready for an equal sign yet. So one half divided by one eighth equals four. Well, all you have to do is multiply your quotient times your divisor and that will get you your original dividend where you started in the first place. So what I mean by that is I'm going to take the quotient of 4, which you know technically that's 4, four over 1, 4 holes, times 1 eighth. Now we're going to multiply our across the top and across the bottom. So with our numerators 4 times 1 equals 4 1 times 8 equals 8, and when you simplify that, 4 goes into 4, 4 goes evenly into 8, so we wind up with 1 half, which is right where we started with our dividend in the first place. So we're going to do three problems together, and then we are going to do you are going to do a couple of problems at home in your binder so you can bring them to school tomorrow so we can all see that you know how to check your work. So let's start with one half divided by one third. It's going to equal something or another. Well, like we talked about in our last video, we need to invert the divisor. So, and then multiply by its reciprocal. So, one half times three over one is going to equal, let's find out. One times three equals three. Two times one equals two. So, it looks like our answer is three halves. So, now to check our work and make sure that we did our work correctly, we need to multiply one third times three halves. And if we did our work right, our answer will be one half. So let's see. One times three equals three. Three times two equals six. Put that dividing line in there. And then we need to simplify. We can divide both the numerator and the denominator by three, and we wind up with one half. So looks like we did our work correctly again. Okay, our next one is going to be 3 divided by 3 fourths. It's going to equal some sort of quotient or another. Alright, so we have to invert 3 fourths because we need to multiply 3 by its reciprocal. So when we flip over 3 fourths, we wind up with 4 thirds. And on this one, we can even simplify it a little bit more because 3 goes into 3 evenly one time. So 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, so the correct answer is, or our quotient rather, is 4. 
We're not sure just yet though if it's correct, so now we need to find out. We need to multiply our quotient by our divisor and see if we wind up with 3, our original dividend. So we're going to take 4 over 1 times 3 fourths and see what we get. And four, the 4s cancel each other out, so 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. We don't really need to worry about it, but there you go. And we wound up with our original dividend from all the way back over there. Okay, one last example together, and then I'm going to give you three problems to do on your own. So 2 thirds divided by 1 fifth is going to equal something. So let's invert the divisor and multiply it by the dividend. So 2 thirds times 5 over 1. 2 times 5 is 10. Whoops, where'd that just go? Hmm. And 3 times 1 equals 3. So now we need to check it. We have to check our work and see, whoa, if that's really the correct answer. So we're going to find out after I figure out how to get back there. Okay, so what in the world? Technology is supposed to make life easy, huh? Okay, so we're going to take 10 thirds and multiply it times 1 fifth. We're going to take our quotient and multiply it times our divisor. So 10 thirds times 1 fifth. And if we did it all correctly, we will wind up with 2 thirds. So let's see. The 10 and the 5 are both divisible by 5. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3 we wound up with two-thirds, which means, once again, we got our answer correct. So here are the two problems I want you all to do in your math binder and bring the work and answers with you to class tomorrow. So your first one is two-thirds divided by one-sixth, and your second problem is three-fifths divided by one-tenth. So make sure that the quotient, whatever your answer is, when you multiply it by the divisor, that little guy right there, whoops, and that little guy right there, make sure that when your quotient and divide is multiplied with your divisor, that you wind up with your dividend. And then you'll know that you have correctly divided your fractions.